Yo, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back and welcome to Chris Wrestling Views here on YouTube.com. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Why? Because it is 100% free and it doesn't cost you a penny. So let's go ahead and get into the what the title says the WWE draft predictions today so you know the um WWE draft you guys is tomorrow this is the last day of september today is september 30th or when i'm doing this video so let's um get into some superstars of who could be moving to raw or who could stay on raw or who can stay on smackdown or who come from smackdown to raw let's jump into it now all right so you guys um <clears throat> First person I'm going to have to go with, I'm going to say Charlotte Flair. I'm going to say she definitely will stay on SmackDown, uh, in my opinion, because she is she is showing, like, on the women's division thing on Smack, you know, on Raw, that, you know, that she belongs there, with, you know, and so on and so forth. But if she could go to SmackDown, that would be great as well. Then, you guys, uh, I'm going to say Alexa Bliss. She probably will stay on Raw as well. And so I'm wondering... Um, they said she's going to be out for a couple of months, uh, so maybe we'll see her back in December or first year, um, I mean, first month of, uh, January next year, uh, so, uh, you know, I don't know, but it'll be a good thing to see her, um, on Raw when she does, uh, return to WWE television. Uh, three, I would say, uh, Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks, uh, she could, even though we seen her return at Extreme Rules, um, uh, last yeah, Extreme Rules uh, last weekend. Uh, it would, you know, would be great to actually see her again, um, you know, on the Raw brand, possibly feuding with Charlotte Flair. Or could Shayna Baszler be the one that would feud with Charlotte Flair? Um, but we'll definitely have to see because, uh, Shane, because Charlotte Flair doesn't have an opponent right now to actually face. But as we've seen, Shayna Baszler has been a role. But then again, we could see Sasha Banks um, coming over to uh, the Monday nights. Uh, fourth, you guys, I'm gonna have to go with. I'm gonna have to go with Bianca Belair. Um, it it would be nice to see Bianca Belair versus Charlotte Flair versus um, Bian Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks versus uh, Charlotte Flair uh, for the Raw Women's uh, Title. Um, you know that would be pretty good to see. Uh, fifth, I'm gonna say uh, Shayna Baszler. I would say it would be nice to have her over on Friday Night SmackDown, but she is trying to definitely make a big name for herself over on Monday Night Raw. So we'll definitely um, have to see. Uh, then uh, I would say Liv Morgan, uh, possibly bring Liv Morgan to Monday Night Raw. Uh, we're just going to see how she will do over on the Monday Nights. Um, next person I'll uh, say is Carmella. Uh, she hasn't been on Raw for a good little while now. And uh, Zelina Vega, she was on there before she got fired. And then when she came back, you guys, uh, she ended up being on SmackDown. And she kind of surprised, you know, me and, uh, you know, us as the WWE Universe, I should say. Uh, but yeah. Then you guys, uh, let's go with uh, Rhea Ripley and Nikki Ash. They will, you know, they will stay on um, Monday Night Raw, but you know, they can go to whatever brand that they want to, even when they're confronting somebody. Uh, Natalia and Tamina, um, they'll probably be moving to um, Monday Night Raw. Don't really have an explanation, but just guessing that off the top of my head. Uh, then you guys, uh, let's go with. Um, Let's go with Shotzi Blackheart um, and Tegan Knox. Um, I would have to say, I wouldn't want to see them. I would say Raw, but I don't want to see them on Raw because they're not really proved. They haven't really proven themselves as much. Um, I have to say the least, you guys. But then again, um, but then again, it could kind of spice things up to where they can be on uh, WWE television more. Uh, but we'll just have to uh, see um, on one of these drafts. Uh, then Eve Marie, uh, she'll probably stay on Raw. Um, and even though I think she suffered a broken arm uh, by Shayna Baszler, when Shayna Baszler, you know, just for the, you know, just for the little booking thing or whatever, to just write her off TV for a little while. 
uh, of course, Dana Brooke. Uh, we definitely haven't seen Dana Brooke ever since uh, her and Mandy, well, ever since Mandy have moved, moved over uh, to NXT now. So, I mean, yeah, you guys, I mean, you just don't know what could happen, but, um, but we'll definitely see. So, um, SmackDown. I'm gonna say Becky Lynch is definitely gonna stay on SmackDown. Could be one of the top heels, but a lot of people are still cheering her. And I don't know how that, you know, I don't know how this is gonna work. Uh, Tony Storm, she could be another person that's gonna stay on SmackDown. Uh, Naomi, like I said, she definitely will stay um, on SmackDown as well. Uh, then, um, we could see the uh, Genius of the Sky, Io Shirai, um, make her, um, de her SmackDown debut. Um, cause of course we can see, let's say if we see Oscar and Io Shirai be tag team partners and, you know, become a tag team, uh, whenever Oscar comes back to television. And so she may as well come to television probably, um, tomorrow night on Friday night Smackdown. But like I said, we definitely have to see. These are my predictions, you guys. Uh, Nia Jax, it'll be great to see her over on Friday nights as well. Um, even though right now uh, she's suffering an injury, you know, for the booking purposes thing or whatever, to write her off TV. Um, but we probably won't see her for maybe a couple of months or so. Um, then Dewdrop, um, she's doing pretty good on Raw. But then again, that's... Um, Let's see how she would do if she was drafted to SmackDown, even though it's kind of like kiddish, like real kiddish or whatever, you guys. So, all right. So, I'm going to, um, I think I'll name all the women wrestlers uh, that could be go, that could go to Raw or from Raw to SmackDown for SmackDown to Raw. Uh, so, for Raw, men, superstars, um, I'm going to go with Big E. With him being the uh, raw, uh, with, with him being a raw, um, well, with him being the WWE champion, I don't know why I said the raw women's champion. Excuse me, you guys, but yeah, Biggie, he can definitely, um, he can definitely be. Um, I mean, he's not really, he's not gonna lose that title, even with Drew McIntyre faces him. Um, even like they said, Drew McIntyre is gonna go heel and so on and so forth, but he will not win that title from Big E. I'm guessing WWE don't want him to have that title right now because he because he kept flouncing around with you know with being a face that right now you guys it's you know it's you know it's really boring that to see him as champion over and over and over again uh then number two bobby lashley um could he stay on raw i feel like that bobby lashley could uh should go to smackdown uh karen cross um Maybe he will stay on Raw. Cesaro, we haven't seen him in a while. Happy Corbin from SmackDown to Raw. We'll see. Um, that I think that'd be something pretty cool to see some type of entertainment with having Corbin on Raw. Um, Damian Priest, he will stay on Raw. He's the United States Champion. Um, eight uh, person. Uh, well, next person I'm thinking of Sami Zayn uh, from SmackDown to Raw. Um, Next person, uh, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, he could um, be coming from Friday nights to Monday nights. Um, Cedric Alexander could be um, staying on Monday nights. Angel Garza as well. Um, who else? Well, Shelton Benjamin staying on Raw, um, but could go to SmackDown. Humberto Carrillo going, uh, could stay on Raw with Angel Garza, his tag team partner. Um, hopefully, um, We'll, you know, see a lot of um, tag teams come in. Uh, Reginald, Reginald, um, probably gonna stay on Raw. Our Truth, probably gonna stay on Raw. Uh, Drake Maverick could stay on Raw. Um, uh, Tazawa could stay on Raw. Drew Gulak, um, they've been chasing for that twenty-four-seven uh, title. Um, SmackDown. I would say let's try to get Roman Reigns to Monday Night Raw because it would definitely kind of boost Raw up in ratings and be worth watching, I have to say the least. Uh, Finn Balor, um, let's, try, let's try to keep him on SmackDown. Let's try to keep him on SmackDown. Um, and yeah, you guys, I think that is it. But they, uh, Keith Lee, also let me go ahead. Keith Lee, let's try to see how you do on SmackDown. 
See, will he dominate and see what would happen. But that's all I got right now, you guys. Thank you for watching Chris Russell Views here on YouTube.com. Be sure to um, um, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also look down below because it's different ways, you guys, that you all can reach out to me and, um, you know, uh, DM me on uh, IG. So, yeah, you guys, thank you for watching Chris Russell Views once again here on YouTube.com.